Hey girl, it's Sonia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a huge, I know, I said huge in my last haul, but no, I mean huge try-on haul for Shein. A lot of these items are literally like well under $20, so super affordable and really, really, really cute. I bought, I want to say close to 80 pieces that I'm going to be showing, so that's why I said huge because this part, it's part one of two of the Shein haul, is going to be dedicated to fashion. And then the second part is going to be dedicated to my accessories, whether that be for my hair or for like jewelry, sunglasses and things like that. So that will be in the next video. So make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this and let's get started. Okay, so moving forward, what I want to do is show you what it looks like online and what it looks like on my body in person. Because that's really important to see the difference. Because sometimes it looks fabulous online and when you get it in person, you're like, what? what the hell is this? I feel like I've had a couple of those moments today trying on these things. So I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna show you what it is and you guys need to let me know what it really is. Okay, so I have everything hanging up in the back on this rack here, and I'm just going to start trying things on, starting with this corset top. It's a white corset top. I say corset because it's not stiff like a corset, which is really nice. It's got the ribs of a corset, but it's a soft cotton, which is great because if you've ever worn a corset, you know how stiff it is and how restricting it can be. I got a size large. It fits true to size. A large is in between an 8 and a 10. So just putting it out there. Anytime that I say large, that's what I mean. You can go with anything too and you can wear it on the shoulders or off the shoulder. I'm wearing some sweats so let me change my bottoms. I'm hoping these fit. They looked really cute on the model and again these are in a size large. So let's try them on. They're a lot cheekier than I was anticipating. I also got these shorts in a lighter wash. So let me try these on. These look even more cheekier than the gray ones and the fitting on these ones are a little tighter. They are high-waisted, which I really like. I know a lot of you guys were suggesting to try like mid-size shorts, but ugh, to me, it just makes like my whole pouch just like fall out, so I can't. But these don't look too bad. I don't have any jewelry on because I don't want to poke holes in any of this really thin fabric. Here is the brown version of that white top, I think it complements my skin tone really nice too. And it fits really nice. I love the way the material feels on my arms. Here's some fun pants that I think will be cute with this top. So let me try this on. There's a back zipper entrance to get into these pants. And they are, I think they are considered high-waisted. But I like the fact that they don't have like an elastic band because anytime that they have elastic bands I feel like it cuts into my body and it just starts to create like a bunch of lumps that are unnecessary so there's that this is very renaissance fair no they're fun they go pretty long too so if you're shorter than me I feel like they would be like the perfect length if you are any taller than I am I would probably stay away from them because they would be too short this is how they look with high heels on Lisa. You guys can get an idea of the length. I just feel like if I were to wash them, they're gonna shrink. So that's my only concern. These are a size large and they do hug like every part of my body. So I'm not sure if I wanna keep these or not. I'm just worried about them shrinking up. I'm gonna try on a different top that might look better with these pants. It's a halter top and kind of scary because it goes over your head like this and it's supposed to just hold on to your girl so this looks like it's already got to go back it's so loose so I mean I guess this would be cute over a bathing suit top but as a top top there's no way because the material is really really see-through Lord have mercy oh no These pants are super gap. I think I'm gonna have to dry clean these though because I really don't want them to go any shorter than they are. Not to say that they're short, I just, I can't afford them to get any shorter. The material is really thin and you will be able to see through it if you, huh. the material is really thin but it's not see-through, which is great. The pattern is really nice too because it hides a lot, like of all the harsh lines from underwear because I'm wearing full, cover wrestling briefs, okay? So, yeah. I also got a skirt that has the same back 
zip tie or a zip opening. So again, if you have like a really soft stomach like me, okay, we don't need elastic bands in our pants. We need them to be straight like this and zippered because it's a lot more tailored, it's not choking us, and it just, it fits better on the body. See? Because it's there. <laughs> It's there, Ooh, grab it. I was a little confused of where the zipper should go because I think it's supposed to have like a side slip. On the side? Yeah, on that side, okay. Okay, there we go. The slit is supposed to be right here. I wanna change my top already, but the tops that I got really don't go with these wild, wicked patterns. But I did wanna show you this skirt just in case anybody liked it. I think it would look cuter with like a screen tee rolled up here, you know? Like it doesn't even have to match. Like let the print do all the talking. Let me show you. Okay, so this might be a bad example, but whatever. Pull it to the back with some booties and a hat. Next up I have this kind of like, what the hell was I thinking about this? Hold on. Okay, these are wild. These are super long pants. And, I mean, I read it right, I guess. It did say tall on these jeans and they're dragging on the floor. So I guess I'm not as tall as I think. I don't know if I would use a bow or what, where you kind of put it into your bra and make it part of your bra. See that? How it covered this bra. And then I'm gonna take this side. Can I grab the right one? Nope. See? It's supposed to be a cute little flirty satin top. And then I have these like pleather pants that are obviously really long. I mean, they're... Okay, so here's the next dress. And I really, really, really wanted to like this dress because it just looked really cute online. I just don't want to look pregnant. This is the reason why I don't wear this type of dress. First of all, hello rude, I would have to pin this shut because it's just too much action. And for like the shade, like the color, pattern, what have you, is really pretty, but it's something that you would see maybe at a baby shower or at a bridal shower. I know I'm not pregnant and I don't have a man, so it doesn't make sense. But I had this really pretty dress from Zara that I ended up having to sell because I wore it too much and it was too big for me. Your girl's working out now, and it just didn't fit. This is kind of tight in the, in the armpits. If you have a smaller bust, please wear this in memory of me, okay? Because I can't. I'm gonna get congratulated, I'm gonna have to punch somebody, okay? So if you've been keeping up with me on TikTok or on Instagram, you know that I've been working out, and I wanted to get some like cute workout stuff. Look, look how freaking cute this is, okay? Like I have to go back on and order the rest of the colors because this is hot, hot. Even just, I'm gonna go out to go eat with my friends and it looks like we worked out this morning. Like that's the look we've got going on here, right? Or praying mantis, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but freaking cute. I ordered a few things from Shein um, a while ago and I'm not sure if I even recorded that haul. I'm not sure. If I did, I'll link it below. But these shoes, I just decided to mention again, I got them in a size eight. They are true to size. I don't give a damn what the reviews say because I listened to them and they said to get a half size bigger and I did and they're too big. So I ended up purchasing, which they're in transit, so I didn't get them yet, but I got them in white again and in black. So I can still wear and I'm, I am wearing them because I don't give a damn, but I want them to fit a little bit tighter because I definitely can't work out in these shoes, but they're just cute for what I'm trying to achieve, right? Which is like cute workout outfit. Okay, so in addition to this black, I'm obsessed. I mean like, I'm shocked, I can't even pay attention and focus. In addition to this top, I also got it in white. So again, these are active tops. You are gonna have to wear your bra or sports bra with them. They are not supportive enough to be worn on their own, unless these things are hard as a rock, which mine are not, because mine are super soft. I love the high neck as well. This looks more expensive than it is. I didn't even shout out the leggings. Leggings are fire too. They're really, really soft on my skin and they feel better 
than most of the leggings that I wear. I did get them in a size large, and I feel like I could have gone away with squeezing my ass into a medium, to be honest with you. So I'm hoping that they do shrink a little bit in the wash, because I can pull them up a little bit more. You know, like, I got room. These could also be my, like, transition, like, when it's that time of the month, because, you know, we really like to attack the kitchen. These are those pants. Here's another active top, you know. Um, move over Gymshark. Hello, Shein, okay. Long sleeve, I don't know what you call this, like half zip top. And I believe this is in a gray. Kind of looks purple on my monitor, but this is gray. I also got on white. Love this combo as well. Obviously, it's classic because it's black and white. And the black pants and the white obviously goes with anything. So you can stick your white top and your white shoes with any color, bottom, pattern, whatever. I mean, it's gonna look good. If it was all white, you're dangerous. I mean, I don't think I own very many white bottoms because I'm a bloody mess, a dirty mess. I'm just a cochina. Here are the gray pants. To me, they look like a dusty purple, like lavender color, but still really nice. Again, I feel like I could have gotten away with a medium because they were really easy to put on. It's that or the leggings that I have are just too tight. I'm just used to like squishing my whole body into them and girl, I love it. This next one I kept in its bag because it's a set. Just in case I didn't like it, it was easy to just locate and I can put them back inside. So it's the seamless shorts and the sports bra to go with it. I'm hoping this will be tight enough. I love it. <laughs> like most things, they come with these stupid pads that I just don't get. I'm taking them out because they make my, it makes it look like you have like huge nipples. Like, who cares if you see a little? And these can also be like pretty revealing. Good thing I work out at home. Here's the first bathing suit. This one also has those stinky pads. Can you see them? They're like literally right here. I only got two bathing suits and I'm super happy with this choice. It is one piece, it's high briefs and it connects here in the waist. So it kind of makes it look like you're wearing a bikini, but it's controlled, which I really like. I love the high-waisted thing because this is still pretty soft. And then the color options change with the bottom. So it's a solid black and then the bottom print changes into something else depending on what you select. I did want to try on these bottoms because they're really fun and flirty. They're really, really light. They kind of look like they have like those checkers that are really popular right now as well. So let's see, these are in a size large. What do we think? All the way to the floor. And I bought them as like beach cover up. So this is exactly how I'd wear it to cover up my bathing suit. So what do we think? Is it cute? Or like, what the hell? Let's put the back. I feel like these are like comfortable pajamas too. They're kind of cute. I think I'm gonna keep them just for like sexy pajamas, you know? I don't know. I love them. I think they're, oh my God, I look so pregnant right here. School's almost out for summer. I took my son to go get Pinkberry, so I'm a little bit bloated now. Here's another beach cover up that I purchased. It comes in a bunch of different colors as well. So this is how I would wear it. Like, I guess I can't wear it off the shoulder. I would wear it like this. Now I kind of regret not getting like a brighter color, like yellow or blue or pink or something because it has a lot of potential. This looks just like really goth. So here is another cover up that I got, which I'm glad I went with a color and not black or white. And there we go, We're really cute. I love this one. So it looks like in the back. I love it. I think it's super cute. You can leave it open too, you don't have to tie it. You can just wear it as a cardigan as well. So here we go with the pads again. The pads are in here fully locked and loaded, but if the swimsuit is wet, you're gonna see it all. So maybe I might change the suit into something that is darker. And last but not least is going to be this, it's like way oversized tee that says Cool Mom on it. It looks cute with these shorts that I purchased from Shein as well. Um, and maybe I'll just pretend that these are a set. I don't know, different faces and characters that remind me a lot of 
some wall decor that I used to have in my first apartment back in the day, girl, almost 13 years ago. I still have it. This will always be with me because this is literally from the beginning. And that's it for this haul. Make sure to hit subscribe if you have not already joined my family and maybe even that bell to be notified when another video goes live because I have a whole other haul dedicated to just the accessories that I purchased off of Shein that didn't fit into this video because it would just be way too long. So I am definitely going to be filming that after I hit cut on this one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me all the way to the end. And if you guys have any thoughts, questions, comments, remarks, requests, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for your love, support, and watching. Take care, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.